hello and welcome once again to my channel layer subscriptions as always here's thanking you also for your support um by tuning into my channel each week um i do hope that this week you will learn something new from this video so don't forget if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do at the end of this video so let's get into it so this week i am making another version of the plates the plate necklace that is um what i have on now so let's get into it now this week i decided to um, break it down into stages so first of all we need to first stage is to lay out your beads and um, all the accessories that you might need now to make the necklace that i am making i need my plates that is this where i'm going to do my design any any type of plates is um usable like but it must have holes so i need my plates i need um wire to make my loops in this instance i'm using eight, a 20 gauge wire and silver wire i need um assortments of beads um, i'll show you later but this is part of it i'm using some pearls and um crystal crystal so i'm using some crystal beads and um pearl beads so we've got those we've got our plates and um, this is the wire i've cut the wire already for ready to loop i need my looper this instance i'm using the 3mm looper i want to make earrings with this set so i've got the ear top that i will use i've got ear pins and for those um ladies that might not like um looped beads at the back of their neck i'm going to add a chain in this one so that is the first stage by um, getting all your materials ready the second stage is to bead your plates now you bead your plates in any design you want you arrange the beads on the plates whichever way you want your design to fall and i have done my plates and that is what i have done here i've even added a dangle so that is my plates as you can see i used an assortment of crystal beads pearl beads and so on to make this design so that is the plates ready and then now we go on to looping the um other beads so we put this this is i just use this to show you what the plates would look what the plate i'm using looks like so now we will loop the beads in whatever style i want so looping is not new because we have there's a video on using the um looper so let me quickly loop my beads i like to loop all the beads before um, joining them together
I always try to loop the beads the same way. When you're making your design, you choose whatever beads you like and do the design in any way you feel you would like to. But I always suggest that you lay the design out before you do anything just to make sure that it's um, even and it's full it comes it, it it comes out the way you envisage it because sometimes you might have an idea and then when you lay the beads out you find out that um it's a difference it it's not really it's not really what you want so it's always better to lay your beads out first So let's leave this for now and then join up my design. When you're joining up your loops, always remember to close the loops properly. Otherwise, the beads will fall off. It's quite a simple design, but it depends on how you arrange your beads to bring out the beauty. So what we're doing now is um, joining the loops. So we're at stage four. We're joining the loops together. Remember stage one was getting your materials all your beads and whatever you want to use. Stage two was your design stage. Stage three was making your plates. Stage four Cutting your wire and looping. Stage 
so we've looped each bead and we're joining them together which is stage four close this which is exactly what i was talking about so you need to close the loops properly otherwise they will come off okay so i've looped the beads together and this is the arrangement i want i wanted all my crystals facing the same way so that is what I did in this design. And as I said before, um, I purposely did this design for those who don't like this loop wire at the back. So I decided to add a chain, which I will do to the end. And then our clasp. So this is the clasp I'm using. It's a pearlized clasp. That is what I'm, and it's for one row. Um, it's strong enough to hold these beads. If it's not strong enough, then this part of it will just come out on its own. But it's strong enough to hold the bead so you must test whatever clasp you are using so this is what i'm going to use so i need to join the clasp to the end of my and to do that i'm going to use i'm going to use a jump ring you can use split ring if you like but I'm using a jump ring. So that's what I'm using throughout. So I used a jump ring to attach the chain to the clasp. closing your jump ring remember if you're using a jump ring they must close properly otherwise things will just fall out that's why i said you can use a split ring if you like you close in such a way when you hear the two edges grit and you know yes you know it's closed properly So I want to check whether all the loops are properly closed. Let me close this one and then we'll check.
So the idea of using a place is just to take the place of a pendant, but right, you designed it yourself. So that's the chain added to the rest of the necklace. And all we want to do is to add the place. But before that, I want to make the earrings and the earrings I'm going to make are going to be exactly like this. So that everything ties in together. I don't want to loop them. I want to wrap the earrings so that they don't come off. Although you can use the looper and just make a loop, but I just want to wrap this. So that is one. And now we need to just join the plate. As I said before, um, I use jump rings. You can use split rings. It all depends on you, but I want to use a jump ring. And this is how I want the plates to, to be. So after looping and adding the plates, that is joining the loops to the plates, this is the finished design with the earrings. It's quite, it's a long necklace. So if you 